This week, I'm super excited to have a guest instructor on the channel, Brian Pike of Marshall Concepts Portland. Brian and I were training partners for many years, and we recently got a few minutes to catch up. He agreed to show some Hubid concepts utilizing the knife as a tool to add some extra layers to the dynamic nature of that flow drill. I hope you enjoy it, and be sure to check out Brian and Marshall Concepts Portland on all of their various social media channels and websites. Links down below. Okay, so Adam's already done some with this dynamic partner flow drill called Hubud. Um, so if we're looking at that wide angle, or angle one, we're doing our pass here. Um, we're gonna do this with knife because I think it's gonna make a little bit more sense for what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna add in some simultaneous cuts. So as this check happens, simultaneously I'm gonna add the low thrust. And because my hand's already low, that'll set me up for the high pass. Low and pass high. If I wanna do my low pass, I'll then do a high thrust. And just be careful with your partner, especially if you're using a tool. High thrust, low pass. Low thrust, high pass. High thrust, low pass. And you can play with the simultaneous cutouts on the arm as well. And then the last one is gonna be as I check here, I'm cutting downward on the arm then I lift to come to the other side. So Adam's gonna check, cut down, lift up. The thing I like about these is that it doesn't really matter if Adam's playing that way too, if we add the thrusts or not, we can asymmetrically have, I wanna add a little bit more complexity for me, but without overburdening a training partner, or he can get in on it too, and either way, we still get to play. And so it's a way to not overtax your training partner but still get something in for you. Um, and then this translates really well to the empty hand portion as well, especially if we're looking at five to five with that straight line thrust. I can also simultaneously parry and hit low, parry and hit high again, be careful with your partner. That one does revolve around this like revolving gate here to get to the outside. Low, high, or I scissor. So I'm thinking about that same cut, just raking with knuckles to the bicep as I parry the hand across. Cut, thrust low, thrust high. Again, we can asymmetrically throw this in, which is nice. Awesome. So if you've got the elbow support, uh, as I pass here, I can lift the elbow as opposed to trapping it down. Um, for here, I like to think about, well, if I've opened this line, this is a great place for me to thrust, so I'm going to do that. Now, this one's a little bit different in that Adam's actually going to respond, so it's less asymmetrical. He needs to know what's going on, and I have to you know, check in with him as we go. Once he checks me, I want to clear and feed. So I'm <laughs> lifting, thrusting low. He's going to check. I check the check, and then we go. And again, this could happen with any of those other thrusts. That could happen with this cut. It's all about lifting to create that space. And that's what gives him that biomechanical cue. That's what gives him that kinesthetic cue to lift here, which means guard your low line. And this is a great way to add like a moment of complexity that requires that other element of feed and really break the rhythm. I really like this modification of the drill. Yeah, it's really nice and smooth. Anyway, thanks so much. Thank you.